Hello, my name is Eric Chappell, Community Evangelist for InfraWorks 360, and I'd like to take you through an overview of Autodesk InfraWorks 360. So what is Autodesk InfraWorks 360? Well, it's a visual 3D design and communication platform for civil engineers, designers, land planners, and other similar roles. It lets you build context for your designs, and then create, explore, and evaluate your designs. It allows you to envision and understand the implications and impacts of what you're proposing. It also lets you quickly explore multiple alternatives, as well as share and develop better designs through collaboration. InfraWorks 360 also lets you get a jump start on detailed design and documentation with tight integration with Civil 3D and other Autodesk products. Why is all of this important? This technology lets you create and convey design ideas quickly and effectively. Having context is an extremely important part of every design because truly understanding your design requires that context. So instead of spending time building this context yourself, you can let the powerful model builder feature of InfraWorks 360 do it for you. That allows you to start your project with the context in place rather than starting with a blank slate or spending the time to create it yourself. And then you can add more to the context that Model Builder provides utilizing your own sources of data. How can these capabilities benefit you in the work that you do? They allow you to start a project immediately, even if you have no data to get started with. Once your context is in place, you can begin adding new design to your model. You can start by quickly sketching 3D features, such as roads, graded areas, pavement, and buildings. We've seen that our designer in the example video has already created some new roads, has created a new grass area that we can actually control the grading of, and is now working on a new paved area for a parking lot. You can see the control that's available in the software to actually grade the site to change the elevations and the shape of the ground as you would in a site design situation. Our designer is now adding a building by simply drawing a shape and you can see the incredible realism of the building facade as well as how easy it is to change the shape and height of the building. Next we can add some details such as structures, vehicles, people, or any 3D model you can find. You can literally create your own or go out to the web and find models that you can add to the library in InfraWorks 360 and then add to your model. You can even change the time and date to get just the right sunlight and shadow effect in your model. It is amazing the amount of control that you have and the amount of detail that you can add to your InfraWorks 360 model so that you can effectively convey your design ideas in a stunning 3D visual environment. Why are these capabilities important to you? They allow you to build and show your design ideas quickly, even in real time if the situation calls for it. Once you've sketched out a few items using the sketch tools, you can continue building your design with tools that employ real engineering methodologies and approaches. Here you can see the interaction between a rail design and a road design to create the crossing. And here you see a designer quickly switching from intersection to roundabout and then creating a bridge from one point to another by simply selecting two points. And this is more than just a pretty picture of a bridge. These are actual structural members such as girders, piers, and so on. And here you can see a quick design of a culvert and eventually the addition of some pavement drainage on a design road. So this is how easy it is to create engineering based design. Not only that, the built-in automation in InfraWorks 360 allows these things to be designed based on design rules. So you can quickly create an intersection, a roundabout, a bridge, without having to interact much with the software because so much is built in. And then finally, you can continue to design your model the way an engineer or a designer would, using recognizable terms and procedures. There you see how easy it is to move a pier on a bridge. And here you see a designer editing a road using a very common practice of 
profile editing. If you're familiar with Civil 3D, this is quite common to you, as this is the way that roads are edited in Civil 3D as well. And that's kind of the point, is that we're using recognizable procedures for editing some of these items while doing so in a very stunning visual environment. Here you see someone easily editing the side slopes of a design road. And also looking at the visual environment itself as a design tool, we can quickly dip underground and observe and actually change the substructure design of that bridge. We can change a culvert design, changing the number of barrels or other components of how the culvert functions. And then of course we can also design underground storm networks using the same ideas with engineering based design methodologies and approaches. So because of all this we're able to do more than just create pretty pictures of designs in InfraWorks 360. We can create designs that are based on engineering methodology that can be easily moved into detailed design without losing any of the design integrity. Why are these capabilities so important? They allow you to design rapidly, but with sound engineering principles that create practical, viable designs. InfraWorks 360 is also a great place to explore your designs through animations and still images. You can view your designs in stunning 3D at all times because 3D is the working environment of InfraWorks 360. It's all 3D all the time. And there are even additional tools like the one you see here where you can make the ground surface transparent so that you can even see underground infrastructure as part of your design. The realism and detail of the interface makes it so much easier to understand the performance of your design, whether it's a culvert, a storm pipe, a bridge, or an intersection. Creating animations is easy because in a few seconds you can select a few key views and let InfraWorks 360 do the work of stitching those views together into a nice smooth flowing animation. And you can even create very high quality still images using the powerful onboard rendering engine of InfraWorks 360. And the beauty of all this is that it doesn't require any previous visualization, training, or experience. The tools are simplified by design so that anyone can be up and running creating either still images or animations with little or no training. So why are these animation and rendering capabilities important? Because they allow you to convey your designs visually and you don't have to be a visualization expert. In fact, you can get up and running with these tools with no prior skills or experience in visualization. Another great capability of InfraWorks 360 is that through evaluating your designs, you can know how your design is performing in real time. You can determine elevations, distances, and volumes whenever you want. Here we see our designer outlining an area and quickly analyzing the cut and fill volumes for that proposed design. And here we see an elevation analysis showing us where the high and low points are in our project area. We can even use profile view to inspect the elevations of a road and of course make changes if we want to as well. The analytics in InfraWorks 360 are visual. For example, this site distance analysis of an intersection shows us very clearly how the intersection is performing and here we see a clearance analysis beneath a bridge. We can even look at the dimensional properties of one of the structural components of a bridge. And here we can look at the performance of stormwater as it drains into an inlet grate. And beyond that, we can even look at one of the individual pipes in the storm system and determine its performance as far as handling the flow that's entering the pipe. When needed, we can go to the cloud to perform powerful optimizations, such as a profile optimization, or analytics such as a watershed analysis to determine how much water is flowing and where it's crossing beneath a road. And not only can we generate these analytics, but we can interact with them in real time and respond to the results that they yield. So for example, we can take one of these watersheds that were delineated and enter some information to determine the flow, or we can adjust our road profile so that we no longer have a clearance problem beneath the bridge. Here we're changing the design of a culvert 
adding barrels so that the culvert can accept more flow, increasing the capacity of the culvert so that more water can flow beneath the road. And on top of all that, we can also get real-time quantities on some of the key items of our model. Here, our designer is selecting a road and getting information about the culverts, inlets, manholes, pipelines, and other infrastructure associated with that road. And we can do a similar operation with a bridge to give us quantities for the major structural components of that bridge. And with quantities, we can, of course, determine cost. And knowing costs up front is a huge advantage in any project so that we can make important decisions and possibly change direction much earlier in the design process than later when it becomes very expensive to do so. And yet another great capability of InfraWorks 360 is its ability to explore multiple design alternatives very quickly and in an easy to understand visual environment. Here we're going to see our designer switch from an intersection design to a roundabout design very quickly. And each time our designer is storing this alternative in what's called a proposal. And then our final design alternative is going to be a bridge. And because of how quick and easy it is to make changes and to add design elements into your InfraWorks 360 model, our designer is able to create the intersection roundabout and now bridge design very quickly. Here you can see it's just a matter of right clicking the road and selecting add bridge and picking the start and end point of the bridge. So now all three design alternatives are defined, the bridge, intersection, and roundabout. They've all been captured in their own proposal and now our designer can sit with a client and switch through the different alternatives very easily. So you just saw those alternatives created and stored in proposals live, and it was all done in less than two minutes. So this powerful capability to be able to create and present design alternatives, multiple design alternatives to your clients is extremely valuable because in today's world, everyone wants lots of choices and they want them delivered very quickly. Sharing and collaboration is another powerful capability of InfraWorks 360. With it, you can invite collaborators to help you on your models. Or, for those folks who don't have InfraWorks 360, you can publish your models to the web so that anyone can view them and provide feedback. What you're looking at on your screen now is the process of creating a scenario, carving out a portion of the model, and publishing it to the web. When complete, I can notify someone that the scenario is available, in this case my friend John, and when John receives my notification, he can click the link, which will take him right to the scenario in his web browser. There he makes a comment that he's not very pleased with the building facade that I chose. And meanwhile, while I'm working back in the model in InfraWorks 360, in my design feed, I see John's comment. I can reply to it and let him know that it's not a problem to change the building facade, and I can get right to work with making that change. In a few seconds, I've got a new building facade. I can resync those changes back to the cloud and John can take a look at the change and tell me whether he's pleased with the new choice that I've made for the building facade. Because of this capability to share and receive feedback I can quickly respond to John's need, provide answers for him and he can provide feedback back to me and as you can see he's pleased with the building facade that I've chosen. And if that's not enough for you you can even take your models into the field using any number of mobile devices. There is an iPad app, which you see on your screen now, which allows you to view scenarios directly. Or, because most of the collaboration technology is web-based, nearly any browser can be used to visualize the scenarios or other sharing functions that are provided. So that means you can take your design into the field. So because of these powerful sharing and collaboration tools, you can have teams of people working on models simultaneously, and you can also keep all of your stakeholders informed and able to provide feedback throughout the process. One of the most powerful capabilities of InfraWorks 360 is its ability to integrate with Civil 3D and other products. This lets you go on to detailed design without missing a beat. 
What we mean is that you can generate civil 3D drawings from a road model using one command, and this will create design DWGs plus an entire sheet set. And from here you can continue with your detailed road design and documentation. You can also take InfraWorks 360 models and open them within the Civil 3D environment. In fact, there's a command right in the interface, Open InfraWorks 360 Model. And through a series of options and choices, you can decide exactly what's brought into your Civil 3D drawing. And then from there, you can continue with additional analysis and design using tools like Structural Bridge Design or Storm and Sanitary Analysis. Here we see uh, a bridge that's been created in InfraWorks 360 and brought into Civil 3D in its full 3D form. You can see the superstructure, the substructure, and all of the components in between. In this example, we see uh, this, this functionality being leveraged with Storm Design, where our user is opening uh, an InfraWorks 360 model in Civil 3D, and this model happens to contain some, uh, some underground storm pipes and structures. And you can see as we zoom in, those pipes and structures have come in as civil 3D objects with their locations and elevations and sizes respected from InfraWorks 360. And we can take that even a step further by jumping into storm and sanitary analysis and doing a very detailed engineering analysis and design on the individual components of that system. So we can jump from preliminary design to this very detailed design very easily and without losing work and effort. And then finally, we can bring that back around into InfraWorks 360. A moment ago, you saw a corridor model in Civil 3D, and now our user is opening that Civil 3D drawing in the InfraWorks 360 environment, bringing it right in and then visualizing it using a storyboard to simulate driving down that design road. Why is all this important? It allows you to continue designing and visualizing without losing work or effort. So to wrap things up, let's talk about why InfraWorks 360. You've seen during this presentation that you can build instant context for your projects using the powerful Model Builder feature. You can then design within that context quicker than you ever have before. And you can build your designs in a stunning 3D environment while using recognized engineering principles and methodologies. You can evaluate your designs on the fly so that you can make important decisions early in the process. And you can give your clients choices by building and presenting multiple alternatives faster than ever before. You can work on designs as a team through collaboration and include your stakeholders along every step of the way. You can easily progress into detailed design through tight integration with Civil 3D and other Autodesk products. With InfraWorks 360, you can design faster and smarter in a clear, unmistakable, stunning 3D environment. My name is Eric Chappell, and thank you for joining me for this presentation of InfraWorks 360.